हाउ टू प्रेडिक्ट कैथोड एंड एनोड ऑफ ए गैल्वेनिक सेल और इलेक्ट्रोकेमिकल सेल दिस इज द टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन वी डिस्कस अबाउट दिस टॉपिक थ्रू आउट दिस वीडियो लेक्चर सो वाच दिस डिस्कशन अप टू द एंड टू अंडारस्टैंड दिस टॉपिक हेलो एवरीबाडी आई एम अथनू बेताल यू आर वाचिंग एस एन एजुकेशन एंड स्किल्स बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस वीडियो लेक्चर आई वुड लाइक टू रिमाइंड यू दैट इफ यू आर न्यू टू दिस चैनल और यू डू नॉट सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल देन यू सब्सक्राइब इट राइट राइट नाउ एंड हिट द बेल बाटन और प्रेस द बेल बाटन टू गेट द न्यू वीडियो अपलोड नोटिफिकेशन लेट्स टॉक अबाउट दिस टॉपिक द टॉपिक इज हाउ टू प्रेडिक्ट कैथोड एंड एनोड ऑफ ए ऑफ एन इलेक्ट्रोकेमिकल सेल और गैल्वेनिक सेल यू नो दैट इन गैल्वेनिक सेल और इलेक्ट्रोकेमिकल सेल टू सेपारेट भेसल्स आर प्रेजेंट वन इज इन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड एंड अनदर इज इन द राइट हैंड साइड सो टू सेपारेट भेसल्स आर प्रेजेंट इन द इन ए गैल्वेनिक सेल सो इन दिस केस टू इन द इन द टू सेपारेट भेसल टू इलेक्ट्रोड्स आर प्रेजेंट सो टू इलेक्ट्रोड्स आर टेकन इन टू सेपारेट भेसल इन द के इन द केस ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोकेमिकल सेल और गैल्वेनिक सेल सो नाउ द क्वेश्चन इज आउट ऑफ द टू इलेक्ट्रोड्स वन इज बिहेविंग एज कैथोड एनदर इज बिहेविंग एज एनोड सो हुईच इलेक्ट्रोड इज बिहेविंग एज कैथोड एंड हुईच इलेक्ट्रोड इज यूज एज एनोड वी हैव टू प्रेडिक दिस इलेक्ट्रोड्स Uh, as cathode and anode so this is the simple representation of a galvanic cell in case of galvanic cell two separate beakers are present or two separate vessels where two different electrodes are present in case of galvanic cell uh, this one is a uh, beaker or uh, here one electrode present and this one is another beaker where another electrode is present and these two beaker are connected by a salt bridge this is a inverted u shape tube and uh, these two beakers are connected by a salt bridge here the connection is completed and this is a galvanometer this is uh, the flow of current direction of flow of current and this is the direction of flow of electron so this is the simple here metal is taken metal with its aqueous solution uh, metal as a electrode as an electrode metal is taken with its electrolyte solution okay so now uh, uh, we if we talk about the zinc and copper cell suppose uh, we need to make zinc uh, we need to determine uh, that uh, which one is cathode and which one is uh, anode in case of zinc and copper cell so in this case what we have to do how can how uh, uh, can we predict that which electrode zinc uh, in between zinc and copper which electrode is behaving as uh, cathode and which electrode behaving as anode to find out this uh, answer that which one is cathode or anode we have to understand the standard uh, reduction potentials uh, standard reduction potential of these electrodes here you can see the standard reduction potential of zinc copper okay this is standard reduction potential value here 0.34 volt is the uh, standard reduction potential of copper where the standard reduction potential of zinc is minus 0.74 volt here higher value of standard reduction potential for a uh, for an electrode is behaving as cathode so for this reason in case of the zinc and copper cell in case of zinc and copper cell zinc is behaving as uh, an anode means here we have to take the zinc plate we have to take the zinc plate and zinc sulfate solution zinc sulfate solution and uh, aqueous solution of zinc sulfate zinc sulfate aqueous okay and copper is taken in this electrode copper is taking uh, copper is uh, taken as the uh, cathode and uh, the zinc plate is taken as anode because here the main main formula is higher value of reduction potential means standard reduction potential comparing zinc and copper between zinc and copper we see that copper has higher value of standard reduction potential it is 0.34 volt it is uh, where zinc has 0.76 volt so as copper has higher value of uh, standard reduction potential so for this reason copper is uh, behaving as cathode cathode and this zinc is zinc electrode is behaving as anode 
so to uh, uh, predict cathode and anode of zinc copper cell uh, we use the value of standard reduction potential value greater standard reduction potential value higher redux standard reduction potential value means uh, out of the uh, out of the two electrodes the electrodes which have higher standard reduction potential value behave as the cathode then another one is behaving as anode so in between zinc and copper copper is behaving as the cathode and zinc is behaving as anode next case if we uh, if we try to predict the uh, 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 cathode and anode of copper and nickel cell suppose for copper and nickel cell which electrode means copper electrode and nickel electrode out of these two electrodes which electrode is behaving as cathode and which electrode is behaving as anode here the formula is we have to see the values of the standard reduction potential of two electrodes and the electrodes that have higher standard reduction potential value is behaving as the cathode and other one is behaving as anode so in this case uh, in this case copper and nickel if we look at the standard reduction potential value of these two electrodes cobalt and nickel we are finding that the uh, minus 0.25 that means nickel nickel has higher standard reduction potential value and uh, if, if uh, in the case of oxidation potential if we talk about the oxidation potential value that time the formula is lower uh, oxidation potential value uh, uh, of the electrode here like uh, higher reduction potential of the electrode is behaving as cathode okay higher reduction potential of the electrode is behaving as cathode similarly inversely we can tell it that uh, lower uh, oxidation potential lower standard oxidation potential of the electrode between uh, two electrodes behaving as cathode and other one is behaving as anode so uh, you can you can predict using standard reduction potential value and using standard oxidation potential value uh, as well means you can use any one you can use any one you can use standard reduction potential value you can use standard oxidation potential value any one can be used okay so uh, uh, i am predicting the cathode and anode using the standard reduction potential value here you can see comparing the nickel and copper uh, sorry this one is cobalt comparing nickel and cobalt we are finding that the nickel has higher reduction potential value and for this reason the nickel electrode is behaving as cathode and the co cobalt electrode is behaving as anode because higher value means higher value of the uh, standard reduction potential that indicates that the electrode should be a cathode one and uh, the electrode uh, behaving uh, behaving as anode means that the, that electrode have lower standard reduction potential so in the case of uh, the co cobalt and nickel cell we take the cobalt plate here cobalt plate here here we take the cobalt plate and the aqueous solution here we take the cobalt plate co and here we take the nickel plate because we know that in the left hand side it is oxidation uh, in this left hand side oxidation takes place in galvanic cell left hand side oxidation takes place and right hand side reduction takes place so for this reason the cobalt plate uh, is uh, in the left hand side and the nickel plate in the right hand side and to represent this galvanic cell means representation of the galvanic cell we follow the same rule that uh, in the left hand side suppose uh, we want to represent the zinc and copper cell in that time zinc and copper cell here zinc is behaving as uh, and uh, anode and copper uh, electrode is behaving as cathode so representation should be like this zinc solid and to zinc salt zinc 2 plus aqueous solution and uh, copper 2 plus aqueous solution to copper solid here the copper 
should be copper electrode should be in the right hand side and zinc electrode should be in the left hand side this is the left hand side so zinc electrode should be in the right hand side uh, left hand side and copper electrode should be in the right hand side because here copper has higher standard reduction potential value compared to zinc so copper is behaving as cathode and zinc is behaving as anode zinc electrode is behaving as anode okay and similarly for the case of cobalt and nickel the same thing happens we take cobalt here cobalt to cobalt 2 plus and nickel nickel 2 plus to nickel we are writing nickel electrode in the cathode or right hand side because nickel have higher standard reduction potential you can see it's 0 0.25 minus 0 0.25 it has higher reduction potential value compared to cobalt cobalt uh, cobalt to cobalt 2 plus standard reduction potential value is 0.28 and nickel have 0 0.25 minus 0 0.25 so for this reason the this cell representation of uh, for the cobalt and nickel cell should be like this so I think you understand this topic that uh, how to predict the cathode and anode of a galvanic cell that uh, using the standard reduction potential value or standard oxidation potential value we can predict the cathode and anode of a galvanic cell. The electrode because in galvanic cell two electrodes are present one uh, one uh, one electrode uh, in one electrode oxidation takes place another electrode reduction takes place. So out of these two electrodes the electrodes that have higher standard reduction potential value is behaved as is behaved as cathode and the electrode that have lower standard electrode standard reduction potential value behave as an anode so using the standard reduction potential value you can find the or you can predict the cathode and anode of a galvanic cell in this way you can find uh, the cathode anode of galvanic cell or electrochemical cell i think you understand this uh, full uh, discussions if you still have any problem then you can uh, write in the comment section below that what is your problem okay if you face any problem further okay uh, that's it uh, that's the discussion thank you for watching this discussion don't forget to subscribe this channel uh, and uh, to press the uh, and also uh, press the bell button to get the new video upload notification that's it